<laughs> Why, hello there. Hi. 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 I'm Annette Corsino Blair, back again for episode something. Or after five, the last one. Know. <laughs> the one after the last one. Episode the next. And we're here to share with you some awesome stuff that's going on at the shop. First, we're going to start out with new stuff. New stuff that you're going to talk about. I'm going to talk Sorry. about. Okay. What's new, Annette? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, uh, we have this cool yarn called Eco Plus Peruvian Tones by Cascade mm -hmm. Yarns. It's a chunky weight yarn, um, ish. It's like an Aran chunky. Yeah, like an Aran. Uh, but look at all, oops, all of the, the yardage on it. It's, it's got huge. like 478 yards so with two of these you can make a sweater which yeah. is pretty amazing Very cool it comes in really cool colors here's three of them I like it. we just got a bunch of new colors yeah we got new colors and i made my uh project which we'll talk about in a little while what else is new in that? that well um i should show this no that's what you just finished yeah but that's also in. part of the gadgets okay so i've been making these project bags they're really cool because they have gussets in them, so you can stuff a lot of yarn in them, and they have a handy dandy little handle. And she sewed them herself. <laughs> I sewed them myself. Yes, they're they're cool. so, they're like exclusive. So there's two sizes. We have a smaller one and a larger one. Although I like the larger one better. Yeah. It fits more stuffs. Another new thing. Well, it's call, not a new. Call but the it's store a new to stuff. see what colors we have. Yeah, we have. They're all different. They're yeah, each they're one different is different, ones. so. We can't really show them online, but you can call and maybe we can FaceTime with you and show you what we have in stock. Or you can come in and see for yourself. Yeah. Also an option. There's another <laughs> one I made a little while ago, which is cute. This holds a whole sweater worth. Um, so you can put a big, gigantic project in there. That's what the gussets are made Yeah. For. And then I did a little quilted one, which is super Aww. cute, too. I like that. Okay. Great. I have one, too. Should we show that one? Oh yeah, yeah. This is this a, is the other style. That's a flat version of the drawstring. Very cute. Yeah, yeah. sloths. Hey. Sloth fabric is very for slow popular in here. <laughs> for slow knitting. Ah, ah, slow knitting. Ah, ah. Slow fashion. It's very funny good. Because it's true. It is true. <laughs> um, and we also restocked these mm -hmm. awesome scales and the patterns to go with our fancy knits that I will talk about in a little while. Yes, awesome. That's from Colette's Garden. From she, Colette's Garden. She yes. makes these patterns to go with these really cool dragon scales. We have them in all colors. Right. Mm -hmm. They're very really fun. Mm -hmm. Great for my warrior princess theme that I'm going for. So. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Good job, Annette. Thank you. <laughs> she did it. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Selena. I'm the yarn spawn, as yarn you spawn. can probably tell by being controlling. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay, I'm going to talk about some new yarns. Um, first, I'm going to talk about these ones, which yes. are so delicious. I want to eat them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sweet yeah. Nesting. It's this woman, Celeste. She goes by Sweet Nesting um, on the internet and her company. She does not usually work with shops. She usually just sells, she doesn't even have an Etsy shop. She just sells on Instagram but she agreed to do a trunk show for us, which mm -hmm. is really exciting. And it was like, she was here, um, there's gonna be a little interview in the podcast. Um, she was here uh, the weekend that trunk show opened talking about her yarns and, and her process. And they're just magnificent. They come in three they bases. They're so delicious. Um, and her colors are just like, they're very on trend, but they're also like very her. Like she just has a really, yeah. mm -hmm. really well-defined palette. Mm -hmm. And they're just like, intoxicating <laughs> so there's there's a merino single ply fingering there's a smooth Steeper. fingering that's this yeah. one and then there's this uh, squishy fingering yes. which is has silk in it and it's plied and it's really really nice They're all nice. and then there's a DK which is a, like a single ply DK and um, yeah we just they've been really popular in mm -hmm. the shop unfortunately it's in store okay. only sorry but again you can call if you're if you're not local and you see something we post a lot of photos on the Instagram if you see something on the Instagram you like give us a call um, we can ship it to you um, so that's that Yay, exclusive love. to us and she's tree. such a cool lady she's just like, as cool oh, as her yeah. yeah she's yeah. really really nice and it was really special she was here like helping people choose their faves and that kind of thing yeah. it was really cool um, another new thing, we got some new colors of this, Aracania Huasco, which is a really, really pretty <laughs> sock yarn. yarn. Love and it. they also Love have it. a very interesting palette. Um, we got a bunch of new colors from them, so that's a really nice sock yarn. 
for shawls or a for sock. socks. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Whatever you desire. I love this pink and the neutral. With yes. The yeah. Yes. Yes. Combinations are really yeah. interesting. Yeah. Um, and then I just wanted to honorable mention. <laughs> Ooh. This, it's not super new, but it's still wolf folk. If you if you don't know, they just came out with some new colors pretty recently. Um, it's like you know they have kind of like a blue palette, they have a gray palette, and they came out with this pinky purpley. Like flesh. Um, <laughs> mauve. Mauve. Yeah. Which is like a really nice kind of muted pink. In not ballerina. Not so this ballerina. is in their hige base, which is great for quick holiday gifts. Mm -hmm. um, very like trendy again palette right. opposite under the spectrum of this but also very trendy <laughs> but that super cool that, chunky look that's still, yeah like, right everywhere. yeah i saw someone make a little shrug out of this and look, recently you can't stop and i know I'm it. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be, it has some um, merino silk and alpaca and it's really delightful so it is. there's that Oh. Moving on to the crochet queen. Crochet queen. Lenora. Hi there. Lenora. I'm Lenora. I'm the crochet queen, but I'm here to talk to you about things that work for knit or crochet or weaving or anything. Really? <gasps> shawl <gasps> pins. Yes. We just restocked shawl pins. My favorite, these are all jewel designs. My favorite might be the branch because it's a twig, yeah. the you know, the little yeah. twiggy thing because it's kind of us. Uh -huh. yeah. And I know they designed yeah. it just for us, the knitting tree. <laughs> of course she did. Like but one. the traditional ones, see, hmm, not so much. But the circle is leather. I like that. I think yeah, really I like modern. that one too. It's very, very modern. modern. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. Oh, okay. So not for Lenora, but for the rest of Manly man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. How about the little merino sheep head? Love this. Yes. I mean, really. Now, don't put it on your silk, you know, because it messes up the things It'll and all that. It. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. But if you're a happy kind of shawl wearer, you might want to wave a hand at people. <laughs> High How five. about that? High five. <laughs> I or did it. Could it be back off, Jack? Oh, oh it could. Oh. Yeah. Open to interpretation. Ooh, open to yeah. interpretation. <laughs> but the other thing that we're always getting in new, we're never quite sure when they're going to show up, are the new issues of all the fun magazines. Yeah. This happens to be the latest Vogue that shows up. They sell out pretty quickly, so you need to be Johnny on the spot if you're waiting for something to come in. Uh, or Jane but, on the spot. Or Jane on the spot. This is true. Johnny has nothing to do with this one. Hey. Oh, sorry, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's an article in here for the Johnny on the spots about runway trends in love with ruffles. Huh. Okay. Alrighty I'll then. check it out later. You do that. <laughs> Perfect for your hot Santa outfit. Not happening. <laughs> We're working on it. Not happening. <laughs> All right, Chris, what are you Call for you. you. <laughs> Speaking of new magazines, yes, we are now carrying Knitwit. Yay! Yay. Yeah, we love this. This is sir, this is an LA-based publication. Yeah, go LA! Love all things Los Angeles. And this is what I call a coffee table magazine. Yeah. Ooh. This is one of those things really that is sort of the other end from Vogue. Right. This is packed full of like patterns. These coffee table ones have super great photography. They have things that are more like articles, inspiration for all sorts of crafts, weavings. Lifestyle. It's lifestyle. lifestyle. But lifestyle. they do have patterns now. They didn't used to have patterns, and mm -hmm. now they do. Patterns included in the magazine. Um, and their whole design team is like super hip and really cool. My friend Stephanie took the photos for that first spread. Yay! Yay. It's really exciting. So this, I opened it, I was like, what? My friend Stephanie. <laughs> a, a great addition for our shop because we yes. also carry Pom Pom yeah. and Emma Risu and those yes. other kind of They're all kind of in the quality. same ballpark, yes. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Collect yep. them all. What are these, cool. yes. Chris? I'll tell you what these are. This is from Creative with Clay. Since we're sort of talking about holiday gifts, who wouldn't want this super cool stamp knitted design on a nice ceramic thing? This could be a glass. It could hold things like crochet hooks and tools. Yes. I like these little bowls. This little thing. Hold your stitch markers. Yes. Hold your spare change. Hold your course, whiskey. <laughs> or, or that. Or eggnog. I'm sorry. No. Yeah. There you go. No. Holidays. Yarn bowl with the little uh, open-ended slot, which I love. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's at both ends. Yep. So that as you pull your yarn, it stays yep. contained. Yep. For both Hopefully, knitters and crocheters. Anyone that it. does anything with yarn Fiber. needs yep. five of these. Yeah. Five. <laughs> <laughs> five. 
And those really well, especially well. if you're making things like this and you have all the little balls going. Right. Yeah. 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 Pulling from a yeah. bunch yeah. of sources. Yeah. And then you as can well. move them around. Mm -hmm. Wrangling all your one for each color. <laughs> Wrangling. Yeah. One of these at home. Grab the yarn out. Uh, and yeah. this yarn that's nicely wound in here is Yarn Hero. Oh, one of our favorites. Yay. Still, yeah. still, still shop yeah. favorite. Love it. These look like they're super mixed up, kind of crazy colors, but in fact they are uh, ombre guys. And you can just sort of see in this one that there's Once a little wound, bit of yeah. ombre left in that one that I'm almost finished with. In this hat, we forgot. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. That's the Tof hat? Tof. 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 Yeah. G-O-P-H, like Tof. Christopher. Uh. <laughs> Short oh. rows, this is a woolly worm head uh, design, and we had a workshop in this. Uh, and this is a solid color and a yarn hero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you buy one of each color, you can get the other hat in the opposite combination. In the reverse color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the other hat has the purple veins with the cool color and the little leaf pattern. Two skeins, two hats. The two solid skeins, yarn is Neighborhood uh, Studio DK. Yeah. Yes. Fiber Co. Yeah. Okay. Super cool. So what are you working on? Well, I tell you, I just <laughs> I'm just finishing this. I'll and, tell you what. And speaking <laughs> of yarn hero. This is the ever popular uh, Left Coast Dye Works. You may have heard of yay! that. Yay! Yay! And that's, that's, that's the tweed <laughs> in the uh, color called Good Neighbor Fence. It's the sort of rusty color. And then this is the guy that's going. And this project is a crocheted brioche cowl. And wait Did for you it. you know that that existed? Yeah. I didn't it's know. kind of mind blowing. Yes. The what? inside has stripes going the other way. Yes. Crazy town. Lenore and I have both been having fun with this. We're going to work yes. up a pattern. We, uh, a new pattern? Yeah. Whoa. I, think, uh, I think we should. I think you really should. Really good, clear instructions that can work with a bunch of different weights. Straight up. You know what? what? I just had an idea. I'm ready. <gasps> I'm going to make a reversible shirt. <gasps> One way it goes this way, and you turn it inside out because you spilled the coffee, and then the stripes go the other way. <laughs> I'm all in. Double whammy. Oh, I am oh all in. yeah, baby. Wow. <laughs> Speaking of crochet, I love these hooks. I used to really dislike crochet as a kid. Uh, one of our employees here said, You've got to try the Clover Amore hooks. Love, love, love them. It makes they crochet are, so much more comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, they're just a joy to work yeah. with. And they have a different kind of tip too, right? It's yeah, like it's, it's, it's pointed smooth. in a different way. It's, I, it's, I like it. The That's throat, right. the point, it's it's what suits me and the handle part of it is just very comfortable. Those are definitely our most popular. It is comfortable. I think it's the yeah. best of all hooks because, you know, people are generally in like either the Susan Bates with the sharp pointed hooks yep. Yep. at the tip and or the boy yeah. which are rounded. That's got both. Like a yep. Don't yep. have to choose. Don't have to <laughs> choose. Oh, Love it. Great. Did you have anything recently finished, or you talking? That was it. That, that, that like was minutes it. ago, finished. Well, minutes ago, finished. Got it. Unblocked, so finished. Yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah, I'll get it yeah. there. I'll get yeah. it there. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Yes. So Thank welcome. you, Chris. Yarn dude. Yarn dude. Yarn dude. Yarn dude. Yarn dude. dude. Yarn dude. dude. Well, Otherwise yeah. known as Santa. What are you? <laughs> Hot <laughs> sand. <laughs> oh. Leave the kid alone. I'm gonna get the sand. Okay. I am up. One thing about coming in to see us, if you're local or passing through the airport, another good one, yes. is you see all the shop samples. Uh, and this one is hot off the needles shop sample. Like yesterday. Like like yesterday. Here, I need help. I think it's upside down. down. Is it upside down? Yes. I was trying to find somebody to hold, hold the ends. There we go, there we go. This is so pretty. Night Shift. Shawl by Christopher Salas. Yes, yes. great designs. Great, really cool. fabulous design, fun to do. And we did this sample out of Cascade Longwood Sport. Easy. I love the ply on this yarn. It really holds it up well. It really it's so soft. It's so yeah. marinalicious. And it holds up well. And side hint. Mm -hmm. You can actually frog and re-knit and the yarn holds up. It does. Not Very saying what happened exactly. <laughs> no. Things may have. Things happen along the way. Right. Yeah. This was yeah. two skeins of the solid purple and, and two and skeins of, of the, the striping. Yeah. Self striping. Self striping. The gray yeah. multi. Yeah. yeah. It's Very cool. And we had one um, one of our customers, Ann Bachelor brought one in that was made and it was funny because it was after I already said, let's make this. It's such a cool thing. And like 10 people bought the pattern instantly. It's yeah. been very a popular. A lot of people bought this and we're so Christopher excited. Salas, call us. Yeah. <laughs> Christopher, get your book. You want to hang? Yeah. 
Yeah. Cool. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Cool, cool, cool. What are you working on, Crochet Queen? What am I working on? I'm actually working on crochet. What? Isn't that exciting? No way. Man. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, oh, I've lost my book, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's okay. We got some here. <laughs> I don't know if you, we're doing this at the beginning of December, and there might be this holiday season coming up. And so okay. all I can say about that is somebody might or might not <laughs> be getting a crocheted cowl with window panes and solids done in rosalind, Ooh. which is, oh, there's, your there's, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's the way it goes oops, some days. Oops, Put it oops. in there. Cascade <laughs> Rosalind. Um, I've used this yarn before several times. Oh, I love it. Yarn. It does have to be hand washed, dry flat, but it is wool and silk, and I love this yarn. I really think it's underrated. We've pushed it before um, because yeah. once people use it, they love it. So yeah. someone wool and silk. may or may not be Tweety getting wool and silk. a crochet yeah. cowl. And that's yeah. all I have to say about that. Yeah. Okay. Tweety, modern Beautiful. colors, great for knitting, great for crocheting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is this is a secret favorite of almost everyone. That yeah, works, yeah. yeah. It's and not a secret. It's not a secret. <laughs> and what? It goes really yeah, and good oh, colors. Hello. I was thinking about it. Right. Alina, oh, okay. what's on your needle? Well, I'm going to first talk about this shop sample that was recently finished. Oh yes. Also, also done in wool folk, as I had talked about the new, new wool colors. folk colors. So yeah. we. So we gave Jinda three the three new colors, and she made this beautiful shawl. Um, can you see it? It's like the squishiest, coziest, mm. most beautiful thing. Really classic color palette. Yeah, really beautiful. While still like interesting. Mm -hmm. um, it's called the Kettle Valley Shawl by Knox Mountain Knit Co. Two skeins each of all three colors, so six skeins of Wolf Oak Far. Um, they're worsted weight chainette. That's like an heirloom piece. Delicious mm -hmm. wool. Beautiful. It is beautiful. It's yeah. really, really nice. And no, so. no stitch individually is, is difficult. Yeah. That's the nice thing about it. It's like got variety. It's interesting enough, but it's not like, you know, Yeah, super it won't break scary. your brain. Yeah. yeah. So that's that. And you won't that. fall asleep either. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Also And important. in LA, it's so nice, you turn the air conditioning up to wear that thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But right. it's really light. It doesn't feel yeah. heavy, which is really nice, even though it's worsted. Yeah. Okay, so I think on the last yeah. podcast we talked about, I have, was talking about wanting to start this when Lily was here. Yeah. And yeah. Um, and I am almost there. Yay. Yay. Very exciting. And what is this thing? This is the Sunset Highway by Caitlin Hunter. And what's the And what it's a very popular pattern on Ravelry and on, and on Instagram right now. And, you know, another thing about the new Vogue is they're talking about how the Corn of Nordic knits the Fair Isle mm -hmm. is very in the season. Also in fashion world and mm -hmm. in knitting world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, everybody's all on top of that right now. I used Metal and Tosh Light, uh, Malibu Goon, Machita, and uh, Ching Fibers, which we will be getting in more of very, very soon. I know lots yes. of people have been asking about that. By the time hopefully, you see this. I, yeah, <laughs> by the time you see this. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks we will have it in. She's going to ship it all the way from England. Um, but yeah, this pattern is so fun. It's super easy. Like for anybody who's thinking of wanting to try color work, um, it's great. And I'm it's almost there. Stunning. I just have sleeves. It is. It's I'm gorgeous. so happy. I'm really, I'm, I really want to wear it by Christmas. So I'm like, Do it. rushing, rushing, Do it. rushing. And also, one of our other staff members, Anissa. Oh, who happens to be walking by? <laughs> Hi, Anissa. <laughs> we tried to get her to do it, but she she just lent her sweater, so. <laughs> her sweater's in the video and not her. Yeah. Um, she finished the body and she's got the sleeve going right there. That's and so it's cute. So pretty. Gorgeous. So she did hers in Left Coast Diaries, which we're also yes. getting more of very, yes. very soon. Yeah, yeah like so keep your weeks. eyes peeled. Um, and, and she that also stuff used goes fast. Old Rusted Chair and um, Three Irish Girls. So some of our favorite indie dyers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, What's not to like? Yeah, this pattern is gorgeous. Really, really fun. It's yeah. so great to look at all the Ravelry projects and see how different every person yeah. looks if they're using speckled yarn or solid yarn or something like, like you know I modified mine I used three colors instead of four colors and so keep your eyes out do that. that one that's fun and it's a great first ferrile project yes yes you know if anybody's afraid of, of uh, ferrile like Alina had never how, done I was scared I thought there was some special trick to it and then Lenora just showed me how to do it in like two seconds and I was like oh She's I'm like, doing oh, it. That's, that's all. It. That's all. Right? So that, I thought, yeah, that's that's really true. I mean, it's like yeah. you know, don't be afraid. 
try yeah, a new just thing. Just do it. Yes, it exactly. It can be very exhilarating. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Yes. I'm really impressed with that. And what have you accomplished in that? Well, I've been in my warrior princess mode because I'm just generally pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> so, Happy freaking holidays. Yeah. yeah. Um, so um, I made another one of these. Uh, this is, uh, what is it called? It's just a mint. Dragon yeah, scale yeah, mint by Colette's, Colette's Garden. Garden. Yeah. And this time we tried it in the in the gold, which I really like. I like. We did silver and black the last like time. That. This yarn is Ginkgo by Barocco. Ginkgo by Barocco. That sounds it's very Ginkgo like. Barocco. Ginkgo it's Barocco. also a wool silk. Wool yeah, silk. Yeah. Silk. Yeah. Well, it's sick. <gasps> and I love it. <laughs> Another. Um, my latest finished project is this really cool piece that is perfect for LA or pretty much anywhere especially when you get a little bit older and you're hot all the time <laughs> <laughs> you got on. one sleeve missing yeah it's like instant air well, I'm hot and cold I'm hot and cold <laughs> but um, this this works great I love it it keeps your chest warm but you're not like dying yeah. So, um, also, this it just is, looks really cool. It yeah. is. And we have more jewel closures. That's right. These are, and these are temporary, so you could take these off and put them on something else. Leather. I love jewel mm -hmm. closures. These are super cool. And they make you look a little badass. What's the pattern called? <laughs> the pattern is called Sleevey Wonder. Again, another pattern that everybody in the shop is it's, making. Yep. It's made chunky out of a chunky yarn. You can finish it in a weekend. Super. I use the um, Eco Plus one, one skein. skein. And I have enough left over for a hat. Who's no. What? Yes. Who's the designer? The designer is Grace Ephraim. Thank you, Grace. <laughs> we Check love Grace. Grace teaches our teaches uh, here. our intermediate boot camp, and she's such an amazing knitter. And, and we designer. love it, and designer. She's been in a bunch yeah. of major magazines, and yeah, we just love her, her Grace Acro. And um, Sleevey Wonder. Sleevey Wonder. S L E E V I E Wonder. And I just love this. Check mm -hmm. the show notes. <clears throat> cool. What yep. else did you recently finish? I finished this. Oh, I finished this. Whoa. <laughs> Duh. That's what I do. Is finish things. Um, this is another for the Ideal Me um, crochet challenge. This is made from Cascade Eco Duo, an alpaca mm -hmm. wool blend in a circular um, double yes. crochet. This spiral pattern is, is kind of a traditional pattern, but I've yeah. only ever seen it in single crochet. So I developed um, a double crochet pattern that goes a lot faster. It's super fun. It's cozy. It's so this soft. Is, it's really mm -hmm. soft it and yummy. Really Changes color. Um, and it's a great lap blanket um, for when you're just a little, a little cool and you want to throw something on your lap. Or you can make it in a more washable fabric. Mm -hmm. And use it as a baby blanket. Yeah. blanket. Yeah. And I really love the, the crab stitch edging. A really easy reverse single crochet that puts a nice edging onto any crochet. That's beautiful. Yes. Or knit. Yes. Or knit. Yeah. Or knit. Yeah. 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 So Very smart. Uh, <laughs> that's about it for us, but oh, stick around. Sweet. We're going to have the uh, interview with Celeste Murphy from Sweet Nasty. Yes. She's going to oh, talk so about yes. her yarns and her woven lampshades, which we yes. should be teaching a workshop in um, soon. So they're going to talk about that in the interview. So stick around. Yeah. Um, and then we'll see you next time at the next podcast. Yeah. Yay. Right. Let's go play. Come on, everyone. <laughs> okay. Put all your stuff oh, on. Everybody has to put oh, all your oh, stuff on. Oh, we have to put all your stuff on. Wait, wait, wait. Well, I will be inside uh, knitting, and I'm going to put my lap blanket on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Huddle. 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 Ooh, it's cold. Hi, I'm Annette Corsino Blair, and I'm here with Celeste Murphy of Sweet Nesting Yarns, this luscious trunk show that we have here today. And we just wanted to ask her a few questions about her process, and I'd like to welcome you here, Thank Celeste. You. Thank you for being here. We've had so much fun today. Everyone has just gone bonkers over your yarn. Do you want to um, tell us? a little bit about um, your process and what inspired you to start dyeing yarn. Okay, what inspired me to start was that I wanted certain colors and I couldn't find them and I didn't know that there were other indie dyed <laughs> yarns and so I just started knitting them myself in the colors that I like, pinks mm -hmm. and with like little bits of neon and that kind of thing. And then once I started seeing all the um, 
crazy colorful patterns and you know Instagram actually now that I saw so many projects I just kept going and kept adding colors and West Knits patterns and things like that to my projects and that's I think that West Knits and his really beautiful mm -hmm. colors and angles and stuff that was a big inspiration for me they go really well together you can see um, some of these projects here are these uh, these two are West Knits right yep this is the Brio Chevron cowl or shawl I guess because it's not a cowl and he uses a bunch of different colors and it's two-sided because it's brioche so it kind of just makes it into a watercolor wow. what a fabulous okay. piece i don't know if i want to eat it or jump in it <laughs> it's really beautiful and then like marled magic which is it's so big and heavy that it actually falls off the mannequin look but at yeah, that this is his, that is a masterpiece so, so gorgeous. Just the fringe alone. How many skeins of yarn in the fridge? <laughs> I have no idea. It's That's like amazing. just a giant stash. Wow. I love it. And I loved how you placed the, the colors too. Yeah, I tried to just do a lot of similar things mm -hmm. in each little section. You know, like That's this gorgeous. dark blue to the light pastel. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of just did it in different areas, you know, so that it kind of melded together. Mm -hmm. yeah, Even though it's so many different colors. It's random, but it has a... a unifying factor to it which is just really beautiful and that's your yarn and that's your sensibility mm -hmm. um we noticed over here too that you have created these amazing lampshades do you want to tell us a little bit about them i really love weaving and um but i don't really know about where to hang on i don't have that much wall space <laughs> for the wall so hanging i started thinking that i would want to do a woven lampshade because it's functional and then also weaving so it looks like an art piece in your home but then it's also functional and it has to be on your lampshade because you've got lampshades so that's what gave me that idea and I've never the seen it anywhere. section I haven't seen it either you're actually using the lampshade frame as mm -hmm. as a loom exactly so you don't even need a loom to do these actually and then I just warped wire and put beads onto the warp wire just on these sections and then this is just regular warping and then weaving through all of it so you really can't tell that there's wire actually there isn't wire here but on some of it there's wire but then you get that sparkle from the beads mm -hmm. and then you get the weave, so the open weaving which mm -hmm. doesn't take too much time this is actually macrame right here so I basically macrame right onto the loom, uh, onto the frame. That is fabulous. And look at the fringe on this. This is crazy. You've got bows and pom poms and fringe, and it's just like a work of art. Truly amazing. It's really fun. Making these lampshades is like a real way to play because you don't have to have mm -hmm. any real technical. Ability. Ability. like you just do and I noticed you whatever you place, feel like doing. and you said you take apart old sweaters and things like that yeah a lot of thrift store pieces of lace thrift store knitted lace sweaters and I just cut them up sometimes I dye them sometimes I just sew them together and then just kind of piece it so inspiring well, thank you so much for being here. Of course, was it was so such a pleasure, and I was, I'm was i so happy that my customers got a chance to interact with you. Me too. She's awesome by her side. We're going to have her trunk show here um, through, uh, I don't know, it's like four weeks. So if you see anything here that you like, just give us a call. The colors aren't on our website yet. But, um, or, um, what is your name on Instagram? Sweet Nesting. Sweet Nesting. Um, she does custom color work, too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So thank you again, and I look forward to being around you guys.